Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing my updated nail polish collection and I don't think I've done one of these for a couple years now so I just wanted to do an updated one because I have a ton of nail polish so let's just get started. Right now this is where I store all of my nail polish and it is just on top of my dresser. Um, I was thinking about getting a nail polish rack but let me know like which ones you guys like. Um, because, yeah, I just have no clue where to get it or, you know, which brand is the best. So, so starting with the first row, I'm going to start off with over here. So this first one is from Wet n Wild Mega Last, and this is in the shade Through the Grape Vine, and it's just a really nice grape purpley color. This next one is also from the Wet n Wild Mega Last line. It's showing up more orange on camera, but it is a like a fire truck red. And this is in the shade I Read a Good Book. This one I got from Walmart, and it's the Salon Perfect brand, and this is in the shade Pure Azure, and it's just this really nice periwinkle blue color. Also from that brand, this is Peach Bellini, or it's just Bellini, but it's just a really nice peach color, and this looks really good in the summertime. Next, I have a China Glaze nail polish, and this is in the shade Ingrid, and it is a taupe color with gold shimmer in it. This first SC one is in Merino Cool, and it's just a really nice dark taupe. It doesn't have any shimmer or anything in it, and it's kind of on the purpley side. The lavender color. The last SE color that I have is Turquoise and Caicos, and this is a really popular one. Um, and this is uh, a more like blue, it's like a green blue uh, minty color, and it doesn't have any shimmer in it once again. From the Nicole by OPI, and this is the Kardashian collection, and this is in the shade Chloe Had a Little Lamb Lamb, and this is a really, really dark green. It's almost like a hunter green. in the Skyly and it's just a multicolored glitter and it has different shapes and different sizes. The last OPI color that I have it's almost gone and this is in Malaysian Mist and it's just a peach pink color. And then the last one in this row is also from Wet n Wild and this is in the shade I Need a Refreshment and it's just a blue mint color. Now for the second row, the first one, well the next few are from the same line and this is in Wet Cement and it's just a kind of like a gray taupe. I really like taupes. It's just, it looks really nice. The next one is in Haze of Love and it's a maroon kind of color. And then also this one is a really nice bright purple and this is in On a Trip. The next one is in Sugar Coat, and it's a really, really light baby pink color. And this is really good for a simple manicure. Next is in Private Viewing, and this is more of a nude color, and it looks really, really natural on the nails. And then the last Wet n Wild, mega last one that I have is in Bite the Bullet, and it's like a purple taupe. It's kind of similar to Cocktail Bling. Okay, now starting off my insane amount of Simple Colors nail polishes. So the first one in this row is this one, and this is in Jungle Trail, in just a gray color. The next one is Aubergine, which is not showing up on camera, but it is an eggplant color, and it has no shimmer once again. Then this is a really, really dark, pretty color, and this is in See You Soon. And it just, it's either a blue or black base, and then it has blue shimmer in it. Looks really, really cool on the nails. Next one is in San Francisco, and this is an emerald green, and it has shimmer in it. Okay, and then this one is Vacation Time, and it's more of like a pinky nude. It's very natural, though. And then this one is in Mystery, and it's like this rose gold color. And the last one is really old, and I don't even really use this, so I should probably throw it away. But this is in the shade Genteel, and it's pink, and then it has teal 
um, shimmer in it. I don't know if you are going to be able to tell. So the first one that I have in the third row is this green color, and this is in the shade Envy, and this was from their collection, I think, two years ago, but it's still, what I like about simple colors is they don't get clumpy. So, yeah, I love this color, and it's just like a perfect green, and it doesn't have any shimmer in it. The next one, this is in Rise and Shine, and this one's not showing up on camera how it is in person, but it's more of like a, a seafoam green color, and it has shimmer in it. Then I have Mint Apple, and this is also from Simple Colors, and this is like a really nice mint color. I really like mints, blues, and like a nude and taupe. Those are like my favorite colors. So this one has a little bit of shimmer, but not too much. Next to that, I have this shade in Why Not, and it's like a true blue color. This looks really pretty on your toes in the summertime. Next to that, I have my one of my favorite colors, and this is in the shade Endless Blue, and it's just a bright cobalt blue. Then a sparkly top coat that I have. This is like a cobalt and like purple glitter, and this is in the shade Hottie. So it's just blue, and that has lots of blue and purple and green um, glitter in it. And then also another glitter. This next one is in Pearl Harbor, and it is a white um, top coat glitter polish, and it also has blue and green glitter in it. It's really nice. Um, and then the last glitter polish from Simple Colors is this one, and this is in the shade All About You, and it's just a gold glitter. Next to the glitter polish, I have my Neons, and this is in the shade 24-7, and I love this one. I need to repurchase it because it's kind of dried out, um, but this looks amazing with a tan, or even if you're not tan, it looks really good. Then I have this one, which is another baby pink color. It almost looks white, but this is in the shade Easy Going, and it's just a really light, natural kind of pink color. And then I have one of like my very first nail polishes and it looks really gross. I saved it because I would probably forget the shade, but this is in the shade Cream Pink. And it's just a it's kind of a darker neon pink and it has a little bit of gold shimmer in it. And then I have this orange polish. I don't really wear a lot of orange, but this one is in Cloud 9, and it's a orange, and then it has orange glitter in it. Then the last one in that row is Timbleberry, and it's a, it's kind of like a corally hot color. I don't know, it's like a bright neon coral almost. It looks really cool. So these next, I think, five, four, um, are the Wet n Wild Shine, and this is in the shade Black Cream. So it's just a black nail polish. Then next to that, I have the white nail polish, and this is just in French White. Then I have Wet n Wild Shine in um, Tickled Pink, and it's just a really nice it's kind of like a bubblegum pink. Um, and then I have two glitter ones from that line, and this is in the shade Sparkled. And then this one is in Hallucination, and it's just really similar to the Wet n Wild. This one's really similar to the Simple Colors one. So, yeah, and it just has, like, multicolored glitter in it. Next to that, I have this Sally Hansen Magnetic Nail Color that I got from a um, Influencer Vox box, uh, I think like a year ago. And this is in the shade Polar Purple. So you see you just, it has the magnet on the top, and you put it to, like, the nail polish. It works on here, too, a little. Um, but yeah, you just put it, and then it makes, like, a wave kind of design, and it's really cool. Um, and that's just a purple shimmer color. And then this one is um, Rimmel Lasting Finish Pro, and this is in the shade Steel Gray. So it's just another taupe color. And I really like the formula. This is actually um, from the Revlon line, 
And this is actually a dupe, I think, for Deborah Lipman's Mermaid Tears. And this is in the shade Whimsical. And it's just like a blue-green, and then it has pink and blue shimmer glitter chunks in it. Um, then, this one is Revlon's Top Speed line, and this is in the shade Jaded. And it's just a mint color with a little bit of shimmer in it. And then, I have this one from also the Revlon line, and this is in the shade Charming. And it's just a purple color. Now on to the Sally Hansen Hard as Nails Extreme Wear Colors. This is in Mint Sorbet. The next one I have from them is in Perfect Pairing, and it's like a glow-in-the-dark kind of color, like that light green shade, and it's really cool. Um, then I have Pacific Blue, which is another cobalt blue shade. Then a kind of more neutral um, Less bright color blue, I guess, is this one. And this is in Blew Me Away. Then I have a Sally Henson also, and this one is in Li Lacy Lilac. And it looks kind of weird because I haven't used it in a while, but it's still good. And then um, I have this one, and this is in Coral Reef, and it's just a coral color. I really like this shade. And then the last one is um, this one in Mellow Yellow, and it's just a yellow color. So I have three of these nail art pen, or like paint things, I don't know, I have a glitter one, a black, and a white. Um, and then the la very last row is the ones that I usually don't use. So this one is a Sally Hansen one from a really long time ago, and... I don't know, it's still good and it works just fine, but I don't know the color or anything. Then I have Mary Kay ones, and this one is in Black Raspberry. And this one's not showing up either, but it's like a true, like, raspberry color. Next one from them is also really gross looking. Um, and this is in the shade Dusty Rose. And it's just a Dusty Rose color. Then I have this one. This one is French Roast, and it's like a brown, um, kind of like a brownie gold color. And this one is um, London Beat Bronze, and it's a bronze color, and it kind of follows the metallic trend. It looks like a penny almost. And then the last one from Mary Kay is... The last one from Mary Kay is this one in Mulberry Spice, and it's a purple color with shimmer. And then I have three little sample kind of nail polishes. They're just really small, um, so yeah, I don't really use the back row that often. Um, okay, now on to NYC. So this one is in Fuchsia Shock. This one is a shimmer one, and this is in Starry Silver Glitter. And it's silver, and that has blue and purple um, circular glitter in it. This one is um, Times Square Tangerine, and it's an orange color. This one is Big Apple Red, and it's just a red color. <laughs> and then I have my top coat from them which I do use, so this one. And then the very last nail polish that I have is this one from Claire's. And this one's not going to show up either, um, but it's a bright neon pink. And this is in the shade Hot Stuff. So that was all my nail polish. I hope you guys enjoyed. And let me know your video requests. And all my links are down below. I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.